Beardo Benjo. Hello everyone and welcome to Will It VR. So if you've not seen any of my videos before, in this series effectively what I do is I pick non-VR games and then push them into VR using Vorpex, which is a piece of software which does the legwork for you in, um, in terms of getting these games to work. Um, but it makes them work in kind of 3D, full scale, virtual reality headset environments um, and it really does give you a new way to play games and experience games that you might have played a million times before. Now today I'm playing a game that I think was incredibly underrated when it came out. I remember working in a game shop when this came out and quite quickly after launch we were bundling it in with everything and it was like $4.99. Uh, the game is Prey, not the original Prey which I also love but the new version of Prey, the 2018 kind of reboot version of Prey. Um, I loved this game. I thought it was jam-packed with atmosphere fantastic kind of uh, sci-fi elements, really great story, um, just a genuinely great sci-fi shooter and I just don't think it got the audience it deserves. And today I'm gonna to be playing it in VR, which is very exciting. Uh, this game had a lot of kind of spooky moments, even though it was quite bright and colorful. There's these shape-shifting creatures and all of a sudden you're walking along and a coffee cup might turn into a monster and attack you. Terrifying stuff, genuinely terrifying stuff. If you don't already, please jump over to Twitter and drop me a follow. That's where I tend to engage most about my content. I put up updates about what I'm doing. I'll have conversations about games that you might want to see me play. So just drop me a suggestion on Twitter. Um, and just, just, just have a conversation with me about games. Have a conversation with me about life. Because I'm on there all the time. That's kind of my main way of interacting with my audience. So jump over. I'll put a little link type thing here now. Um, uh, jump over and just give me a follow on Twitter and just kind of engage me in conversation. I like chatting to people about like-minded things and, and passions that we share. So yeah, swing on by and uh, let's have a chat about the games I should be playing in VR. So I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to jump in now. Um, I'm going to play for around an hour. That should give me enough time to kind of test out any hitches, any graphical issues, whether it makes you feel sick, how nice it looks, how well it plays, all that kind of stuff. I won't do a summary at the end, I don't tend to do much of a summary, but I will talk as I play and hopefully give you a general overview of how well this game runs in Vorpex in VR. Let's rock and roll, I'm gonna jump straight in now and hopefully it works well. Let's go. Okay, so one thing I really wanted to do um, before the new year and before I did my next Will It VR video was figure out how to capture the Vorpex menus when I'm playing. I haven't had time to look into it. I'm sorry. I will get around to it, I promise. Um, the next couple of videos, one of them will kind of, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll get it running. But for now, I'll have to talk you through the menus as always. Currently, uh, this game uh, seems to support all types of 3D. I've got Geometry 3D, which is really nice. When I switch it on here in the menu, um, all the text pops forward, the Prey title pops forward, uh, the little advertisement thing there to buy some DLC pops forward. It all comes forward. Damn, this game's got a lot of features. Uh, yeah, field of view adjustment. I've got preferred resolution quality. Whoa, okay. Um, yeah, I've got some good stuff in here. Uh, all right, I'm just going to jump in because this, this seems to be pretty kitted out with with features, I just wanna check that my field of view is as high as physically possible. Yeah, 120, fantastic. One thing I always say uh, when I'm playing these games is if you're doing it yourself, make sure that's the first thing you do, pump that field of view up as high as you can because it will make your life much better and you won't feel as restricted and claustrophobic jumping into a game. I'm having an issue with the controller. Uh, I don't know what it is, I don't know if I have to map the buttons, but like, the stick works, but only as an extension of the mouse. Nothing else works, so I might have to jump in with keyboard and mouse, which I don't mind. It's just a little bit of a, a little bit of a pain. Oh, baby! A little bit weird because my head's looking the wrong way. But a me immediate impression is this looks freaking nice. Okay, I'll just do a bit, a bit of talking whilst I walk around here. The 3D is really nice. Um, it's incredibly immersive. Just straight out the bat. I always say out the bat. It's actually off the bat, but I don't know why I say out the bat. There's an issue here with shadows. Shadows look a little bit too intense in, in VR. Um, they're kind of difficult to explain but the shadows 
the Geometry 3D is trying to give depth to the shadows and therefore it's making them like a 3D thing um, when obviously they shouldn't be and they're kind of popping out. As always, I say this every time, I can look around entirely using the head tracking. It works really well. As I said, it's set to 0 0.67. This is the default. Oh, I've picked up a briefcase. Yeah, put that down. This is the default um, setting for uh, the profile for Prey. So there is a profile that I've downloaded um, from Vorpex. I haven't had to make this profile myself. Uh, so if you're going to play it yourself, just, just head over, download the online profile from the cloud, cloud profiles, and, and you'll be ready to rock and roll. Uh, I haven't altered anything. Uh, so I was tempted to change it to uh, Z Adaptive or Z Normal. Don't don't feel like I need to. Hello, what's this little thing I picked up? I don't know. I don't need it. Um, this, this is great. This is really nice. Yeah, I'm immediately impressed with this. Um, I am using my mouse a little bit to turn around um, when I need to turn around fast. I've, I've said this in, in all my videos, but it is difficult to turn around all the way when you have to turn your head all the way around to turn around. Technically, if you was if I was standing up, I could play this, but then I wouldn't be able to reach my keyboard, so that'd be a problem. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna put me put my clothes on. Nice. I've got all the settings pumped up to ultra. Um, I'm not I'm not kind of getting much blurriness here in the Oculus. I'm using an Oculus Rift S. That's the headset that I have. Um, and visuals wise, this looks really, really crisp, not blurry. Um, doesn't look, it's not going to look monitor standard. It never does, but it's, it's pretty damn good. Morning, how are you? Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Is there? For you. Get to the chopper. You'll have to take the elevator. These things can be tricky, you know? Yeah, no, I know all about it. You enjoy your, your soldering, whatever it is you're doing. Okay, yes, yeah, so hopefully you can see this. I really do hope that the video captures this. It's not just a 3D issue that I'm going to see, but it's a lighting issue. When you turn on Geometry 3D in, in a lot of Vorpex games, you tend to get this bizarre lighting issue. If I look away from these walls to the left, just above the doors of the apartments, they look fine. They're the kind of cream painted walls. As I look towards them, they go black. And it's like a shadow or something. It's like the game's trying to figure out what that is. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's lighting, I think. Really nice. Really nice so far. Want to get some weapons and shoot some stuff, because that will be a real test. Okay, so if you, if you think about playing this yourself, um, and you're annoyed by the shadows, which really isn't that big of a deal. I've only seen it in a few places. You can change to Z Adaptive or Z Normal, and it will fix the issue for you. Oh, this is nice, man. Oh, I remember this intro. It's really cool, really cool kind of credits intro scene. Um, all games should do stuff like this, kind of remaining immersive, but also giving you your credits and your intro. Oh, this is super cool. I <laughs> I wanted to lean forward then, but obviously the game isn't built to do that. It's not. Room scale VR. That's a nice yeah, look at that. The there. Arcane Studios. Arcane, man, they put out some fantastic stuff. Dishonored is a game I've been considering trying in Will It VR. It's actually on my list. It's moving closer to the top. Um, there's quite a lot of games on that list that I need to check out. Uh, this game was fantastic. I hope this game gets a sequel. I hope it gets. I know it's kind of technically already is a sequel. Oh, I'm aiming for the sick. Don't move without me being ready for it. It's just odd. Alright, I need to find my key bindings again. Okay. I do hope it gets a sequel. Deserves it. In my humble opinion. Just such a great sci fi game. You don't get very many of them, and it was genuinely creepy. Hello, Dr. Hugh. Hello. I'm a civil 495 science class operator. Yes, you are. Morgan. Hello. Finally. What do you mean finally? I woke up, got dressed, came here. You are an interesting looking chap. You look like a slug in human clothes. Hey, pal. What are you looking at? Because you're not looking at your computer, because your computer's there. So what are you staring at? 
Oh, I remember these tests. Fun. Good morning, Morgan. Hello. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Hello, Dr. Bellamy. You Matt Bellamy from Muse. Your singing voice is pretty good. All good? All good. Let's begin. Look at that. Aced it. Smashed that test. You're absolutely fine. Can't see me. Is he? He's hiding behind the chair. <laughs> I am. You can't see me. Any synaptic register at all? No. Hello. I'm That's behind fine. the chair. <laughs> Hello. Sorry. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Did I not do well? Okay. You say marvelous, but I hear terrible. I want you to take a good look at it. Moment, what was that? What, uh, oh no, you're gonna die. <gasps> you gonna die. You gonna die. Oh, look at that. Look what they do to them. Oh my god, I've fallen over. <laughs> I wanna see what's happening. Look at this, Groundhog Day. It's all kicking off again. But today I'm gonna do things different. Let's get out of here. Oh yeah, it's all fucky now. Oh, it's spooky. Oh. Okay, so I've got my wrench. I've got a weapon now. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good to hit things. I'm struggling with knowing what my keys are, but that is not a VR issue. It's not a Vorpex issue. It's simply just a problem with me not setting up my controller and trying to play with keyboard and mouse. And which is difficult in VR because, funnily enough, you can't see the keyboard or the mouse. Very playable. The field of view is really nice. Doesn't feel um, claustrophobic at all. Um, feels like I'm kind of... Oh, is there a monster in here already? Feels like it's the right amount of kind of uh, field of view that I should have. Hey, there we go. Look at this, it's all a massive lie. It's so good, it's a big sound stage. You think you're living your actual life and it's all been absolute nonsense. Oh, I love this game. But it's all part of the same building. You never even went on that helicopter ride or you did, it was just a simulation. Oh, even that's not real. Oh, look at them. I hate them. Oh, he's free. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Oh, fuck off you. Have that, you shit. Is he dead? He's dead. Okay, so if you haven't played this game, the creepy thing about those if you is if you're fighting them and then all of a sudden it's gone and you think, oh, is it dead? It might just have turned into a chair or a coffee cup or anything and then everything becomes terrifying and that's where the, a lot of the jump scares come from I wasn't expecting this game to have jump scares when I played it first off I was like oh yeah cool kind of sci-fi shooter yeah I played the original Prey yeah I know what I'm getting into and then you'll be walking along and a coffee cup will just turn into a monster and attack you and it's just not nice oh guys this is I need to start compiling a list of my favourite um, Vorpex games kind of the ones that work the best this is this is this is gonna be top five. What about Morgan? I know I'm playing it right now, but for video purposes, I feel like playing it again, all over again from the start. It does get very Jesus. Christ. Oh, he's gone down his throat. Oh no, he's dead. You bastard. Oh, I don't remember that. Don't set me free into the world of these horrible creatures. One of them is probably a pile of towels. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. They're definitely in here. He's that chair, isn't he? Nope. What about this box? Nope. This is what it comes to. You just start hitting everything because anything can be an enemy. 
It's scary, man. You little shit. Oh! Don't you turn into a chair. <sighs> if I remember right. Well, you can like hear them like moving around because the items that they've turned into won't quite be like stable enough. So sometimes you'll just see like a coffee cup just like slightly wiggling. Now this game did have a um, VR. Oh, you bastard! A VR. There's two of them. DLC component. Um, but it was like a paid add-on. I think it was a paid add-on. I could be wrong. Oh! Hello? Uh, am I dead? I'm dead. He killed me. Um, okay. Yeah, the game did have like a, a fully supported VR add-on. Uh, but I can't remember if it was paid or free. These things... This is when it gets really scary. These things are fucking horrible. Look at him. He's a big boy. That was a phantom. Yeah, it was. Oh, look at all this. Is it dead? <gasps> gun. I remember this gun. It shoots like goo. Yeah, look at him. Oh god. The neuromods are critical. Oh god. Survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Freeze, you bastard. All right, so once they're frozen, I can smash them. Fuckers. I don't have um eyes on my health. I don't know where my health is displayed. 55, right, bottom right corner. There is a HUD adjustment in the um, Vorpex settings. Let's see if that works. Let's see if that works. It does. It works really well. I can move my HUD. Oh, that's fantastic. Vorpex is massively underrated. I know it gets hate um, because it doesn't turn these games into fully fledged VR experiences like with hand tracking and full room, full room scale VR but you bastard you bastard you bastard shit shitty shit shit yeah it just gets gets such a bad rep but things like that being able to move the HUD around I don't know I've not found that in every game but this is just, that's just made this infinitely playable and now have a miniature like HUD floating right in front of my screen that now means I don't have to use edge peak at all and it turns this into a very very viable VR experience I, just, I don't know man I really rate Vorpex and I don't understand the hate it gets I think the hate comes from an expectations uh, a place of expectation where the expectation is much higher than what the, any software can, can realistically accomplish so you pick up like little neural mods and you have to inject them into your own head. Oh god, that's weird in VR. Oh, that's pretty. That's why his eyeball's red. I now don't need to use Edge Peak to play this. And Edge Peak isn't the, the worst thing in the world. Edge Peak's actually pretty damn fantastic. But for some people it's a little bit immersion breaking that one of these things is going to be a monster, surely. I knew it. I knew it. I didn't think two of them would be though. Get out of here. Horrible little spiders. Anyone in the toilet? Um, yeah, the ability to change the HUD um, has actually taken this from very good to uh, almost down near perfect. Uh, I wish I could be playing with the controller. I think that's probably my only, my only real niggle, but that is because I haven't taken the time to set that up through, um, I think it's a Steam controller configuration issue. Very good. Very, very, very good. I do remember this game being very hard. It's been a long time since I played it. Ah, don't... You were already frozen. Keep him frozen, keep him frozen, keep him frozen. Whoa! 
freaking hate these guys. Take that, you shit. Oh, you shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, um, that's kind of it from me. Uh, this is very, very good. 3D is fantastic. No nausea. Game looks fantastic. Atmosphere lends itself really well. Very easy to set up. Audio is brilliant. Story is great. That's more about the game. And it is compatible with the controller. I'm just rubbish and haven't set it up properly. If you want to try out one VR game in Vorpex that kind of sells it to you, this might be the one. I will compile a list of the ones that you really should try if you're thinking about jumping in. Um, this will be very high on that list, I'm almost certain, because this has been a great experience. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed watching, guys. Um, I've really enjoyed filming this one. Um, I'm going to keep playing this now for a little bit longer. I probably won't keep filming, because otherwise I'll just have millions of parts and I'll just end up playing the entire game. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed making this one. This game's been a joy to play in Vorpex. Um, that's kind of it. If you haven't already, um, drop me a like, leave me a comment, and hit subscribe if you don't already subscribe to me. I'll see you next time for another one, guys. Take care.